Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do a very easy holiday card. I've painted the suggestion of a bright blue background in acrylic paint on my 9 by 12 um, canvas panel and I'll list all my paint colors in water mixable oils at the end of the video. So using raw sienna I'm just um, painting in a branch. It may or may not stay this way but it just gives me an idea of where I'm going to place my pine cones. I'm doing pine cones and um, just a small pine branch. I'm using my filbert brush, a small one, and mixing um, raw sienna, raw umber, and a dash of alizarin crimson. And I'm going to start building my pine cones. Um, I'm not sure what each of those little shapes is actually called, but it's the seed pod. And I'm starting at the outer edge of each one and just sort of pulling it backwards. And um, I'm starting at the tip of the pine cone and working my way to the base. I used to decorate sap buckets and sell them at an antique fair and pine cones were one of my favorite designs to paint and it was very very popular design as well and it's so easy to do um, you can't really make a mistake with these I'm using some raw sienna and a little cad yellow light and I'm going to put in some lighter, a lighter um, panel down the middle of the cone. I have sap green, talo green and ultramarine blue and I'll be using um, the darkest of those to, to start my pine needles and I like to do nice long luxurious pine needles um, it looks so much better in the painting quite often they're short aren't they but um, here where I live in Florida they've got some wonderful pine trees and um, the needles are very long so I start off at the center putting in the darkest colors and use, I'll be using a fan brush to bring out the, the, um, the spine of the needle, the spines, and um, in lighter greens, gradually getting lighter. I'm using my fan brush to flick away from the center of um, the green that I've already put on there. Um, I've mixed Taylor sap at this point and I'll be adding, adding titanium white as I go on. And a little cad yellow light. Here I go with some lighter greens. I'll, I'll work on them, these pine needles, until I've got them where I want them and then I'm going to go in and reinforce the pine cones. I'm using my rigger or liner brush to pull out some separate needles to give you it, that impression that it's um, a sort of full to give you the impression of its fullness that's the best way There, I, I think that's coming along. I'm pretty happy with that. 
And I don't mind that I've overlapped some of the pine cones because I'll be going back in in a moment to reinforce those. I'm just dotting the center of the needle cluster with um, ultramarine blue just to in reinforce that center and the depth of the um, center of the foliage. I'm mixing cad yellow light with raw sienna and I'm going to um, put some light on the pine cones with this mixture. I'm not covering the whole cone with this, just where I think it might catch the light, the moonlight maybe. I converted my dining room into my painting space and it's a sort of great room affair so you can hear my dishwasher going in the background there. I apologize for the noise but there's nothing I can do about it. Now I'm going to um, use my rigor and some titanium white and um, I'm going to put in some dots of snow, oh, just an impression of snow on the blue background. I think it will look nice. Or it could be stars in the sky. I'll leave it up to you. You can decide what it is you want to see. Well, I lost my branch, so I'm putting that back in. Um, it really needs to be in there. I've got the sliding door standing open so you can hear the birds outside as well. It's never totally silent here, but I like that. 